A Snapchat filter is taking the Internet by storm. The social media platform famous for its augmented reality filters now lets users virtually swap genders. Press a button and presto. But for many people who have longed for a button that would change them in real life, the portrait parade isn't a game. It's the thing that when you take these pictures and post them and you're like, this is what it means to be uh, in this costume looking like a man or looking like a woman, and this is the only way that you can look like it. I think that can be problematic. Bailey Kaufman is a transgender woman from New York. Uh, I definitely see aspects of the same person. She opened up in a blog post about how the filters brought back painful childhood memories from before she'd come to terms with her gender identity. And that's what Snapchat is telling me I would look like if I was a man. Although she says she doesn't have a problem with the filter per se, she thinks it's given people on the internet a platform to share their transphobic beliefs. It can be really hard for someone who's really struggled with these types of uh, feelings and emotions to look at this and feel like they're being mocked when they're really not even being the target. I think that there's something about the internet that makes people uh, drawn to kind of experimentation and um, and gender is really elemental to who we are. Jesse Daniels is a professor at the City University of New York and an expert in digital sociology. She says while the filter does reinforce stereotypes about gender, it could also be a therapeutic tool that leads to self-discovery for some. I think also in just in terms of public education, you know, for the for the general public who maybe isn't conversant in trans issues, um, that it, it sort of makes them stop and think about how fluid gender might be or gender expression might be. In a statement, Snapchat said, quote, We understand that identity is deeply personal. As we have and continue to explore the possibilities of this technology, our lens design team is working to ensure that on the whole, these lenses are diverse and inclusive by providing a wide range of transformative effects. I, I wish I could tell that person that it's going to be okay, that you're going to get through this. That Kaufman gonna... says she's glad the filter Everything has opened up a dialogue is. about gender, but hopes Snapchat will add a broader range of looks to acknowledge gender in all its forms. And even though there's this idealized way of what it means to look like a woman according to Snapchat, I am a trans woman, and it's taken a lot to get me to this point, and I just wish that that would be acknowledged in Snapchat's filter and that journey would be acknowledged in this discussion. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press, New York.